we're going to attempt to simplify this algebraic expression and it's in parentheses quantity secant squared x plus cosecant squared x minus quantity tan squared x plus cotangent squared x. We're going to make use of the trigonometric identities for this. And basically what you're trying to do is you don't know exactly where it's going to go so you just try different things and one thing we're going to try to do is first of all use our reciprocal identities to uh, put secant squared x and cosecant squared x in terms of sine and cosine. And so the reciprocal identity says that the secant of x is the reciprocal of cosine x. So secant squared x is going to be 1 over cosine squared x and then cosecant squared x is going to be 1 over sine squared x. And we'll play, keep this in parentheses and minus and we're going to use the tangent and cotangent identities here. The tangent identity is tangent x is sine x over cosine x and so tangent squared x is going to be sine squared x over cosine squared x and then here we're going to use the cotangent identity which is just the reciprocal of the tangent identity so cotangent squared x is going to be cosine squared x over sine squared x and so we have those identities that we're making use of at this time. Now what we're going to do is um, just leave these ones alone here. We're going to really work on the right side and if you, you might recall from the, the Pythagorean identity that sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So we're going to make use of this Pythagorean identity to simplify the right side of our expression here. So accordingly, sine squared x, if we solve for sine squared x, it's going to be 1 minus cosine squared x, and so we put here, uh, we place 1 minus cosine squared x over cosine squared x, and then plus, now we're going to solve for cosine squared x in the numerator, so we're going to subtract sine x from, from each side, so cosine squared x is going to equal 1 minus sine squared x and that over sine squared x. Alright, and so uh, what we're going to do is continue and we're going to bring down for the next step this one's going to be the same, I'll just bring it down cosine squared x plus 1 over sine squared x. And now we're going to bring this down again, and this time we'll remove our parentheses as we do so. So we bring down 1 over cosine squared x plus 1 over sine squared x minus, and so we have to keep track of our signs here, we're going to expand, so minus 1 over cosine squared x and now for this next thing we're going to have minus minus so that's going to be positive cosine squared x over cosine squared x and now we're going to take minus one over sine squared x and then over here we have minus minus, so we're going to have plus sine squared x over sine squared x. And so now we can go about the process of simplifying by canceling. Here we have 
1 over cosine squared x minus 1 over cosine squared x, so we see a cancellation of these two terms. Here we have 1 over sine squared x and minus 1 over sine squared x. We have a cancellation of these terms. And what we have left is we have cosine squared x over cosine squared x, which equals 1. And we have sine squared x over sine squared x, which also equals 1. And so our remaining amount we have is 2. So we'll write it down here and also write it up here. So basically we use the, the reciprocal identities for for secant to change secant into 1 over cosine and, co and the other reciprocal identity to change cosecant to 1 over sine. Uh, we went ahead and we used the tangent and cotangent identities to put these in terms of sine and cosine and we use the Pythagorean identity to substitute 1 minus cosine squared x for sine squared x and 1 minus sine squared x to co for cosine squared x and we simplify from there. I hope this has been instructive for you. Thanks.